Hello, good afternoon. This is David Soto talking to you, and today is my weekly trade predictions for the upcoming trading week of May 10th through May 14th, 2021. Okay, and uh, what I like to do right here is I like to look at all the major forex currency pairs on a 30 minute time frame, okay, just like you see right here. And then I will compare that to higher time frames, such as the four hour daily and weekly, okay, and then I will try to give you my analysis of what I think is going to happen this coming week, okay. And I want to start by saying I was really sad and disappointed with the non-farm payroll uh, report this past week. Uh, they were expecting a, a semi-good uh, job report, but it's actually the opposite. And we had a bad job report and the U.S. dollar actually tanked. Okay. Unfortunately, that's what happens a lot of times. <clears throat> and uh, it's going to take a long time for this U.S. dollar to recover. It is slowly slowly working this way back up right now we got a big pullback but it'll come back up again here in the next couple weeks okay it's just a matter of time that's the problem right now <clears throat> so um one thing to note is that i was reading online that nancy pelosi the speaker of the house said that because of this weak job weak jobs report that we need we urgently need to pass another stimulus check and put more money back into the economy. So as of right now, the U.S. Congress is working to put put together another package, another stimulus package that will put more money back into the economy. Okay, so that's a good news. <clears throat> it's going to take time. Okay, now this is May. Probably not going to see that happen until June or July time frame. I'm thinking more like in July. I don't know, but <clears throat> the thing is. U.S. dollar will rebound, okay? It's just a matter of time, okay? They're not going to go down forever. So, yes, right now the dollar kind of sucks, but it is what it is right now, okay? So, um, start with here, I want to look at your USD, okay? We got your USD pool on the screen, and we see that it was riding in a sideways fashion all week long. Not any big movements until that non-farm non payroll kicked off and it caused a big spike up because the US dollar went down and the euro went up as a result okay and now we see it kind of peaked out a little bit and 30 minute time frame shows the sell but we all know that it could go up even more and right now it's a very fresh signal if we look at the four hour chart okay kind of get an idea what's going on the four hour chart shows the sell keep in mind this is a fresh signal okay do not sell right now the the daily chart okay now this is the kicker this is what I was talking about the previous week all right and I said that we're looking for a red arrow on the daily chart okay and that is what we were waiting on and I was pointing to this level of resistance right here which we are at and it is slightly breaking so I think it's gonna go higher okay how high I don't know okay I did say it could go to this point right here and it is very possible okay um, that is not exactly where I would, would like it to go but more like right in here this point this resistance or maybe this resistance right here okay so Either way, it still has room to travel up more. And what you can do to be safe, okay? We have a resistance right here, okay? On this candle, using the daily chart, you could put a sell limit pennant order just slightly below, okay? Right around one point, uh, what is it, 22, say 400, something like that. You put a sell limit right there and catch it as it comes back down. It will come back down, okay? As of right now, it's starting to go up more because of that weak jobs report. But that is not, <clears throat> you know, long lasting, okay? Now, you see on the weekly chart, it is definitely going down long term, okay? We've had this big pullback, okay, in the last several weeks, and it is not just this last Friday's non-farm payroll report payroll report okay so based on what's going on right this very minute yes it's probably going to travel up some more 
what I think is going to happen this coming week, okay, if we go to the one hour chart here, it shows to sell, and I think it might drop a little bit in the beginning of the week, but it's definitely going to go up more, okay, so probably by the end of the week, we're looking for a red arrow to form on the daily chart, okay, I don't know exactly where that's going to form, but you're going to see a lot of up and down with it slowly going up, okay, so what should you do this week? Well, if you keep your charts on a 30 minute time frame, okay, I do feel that it will be safe to both buy and sell because we're not going to see, um, you know, huge spikes up or huge spikes down, okay, it's a lot of equilibrium right now, okay, so right now you see on a 30 minute chart it says a sell, but do not sell right now, okay, at least wait until the London session on Monday before placing any trades, okay. I usually like to wait until the New York session just to see what the US dollar is doing, okay, before I place any trades. <clears throat> so, yes, you can both buy and sell this week. Just pay attention. If you get a signal to sell or buy, do not place a trade right away, okay. Wait a few hours and then place your trade, okay. And then once you place the trade, close it on the next opposite color arrow. Um, if you see here on GBP USD, all right, same type of scenario, okay. Not exactly the same as what you just saw, but very similar. We had a lot of sideways movement, which is okay. Perfect to trade on a 15 minute or 30 minute chart. But um, we see a big spike up on Friday because of that non-farm payroll. If we go here on the four hour chart, we, again, we, we uh, well, we do not see a red arrow, but we already have a red arrow here. Okay, and we're right back at the same point. So, will it be dropping? Hmm, it's hard to say. Okay, it is at a strong level of resistance right now. If you look at the daily chart, again, it shows the sell and weekly chart as well. So, we know long term it's going to be dropping. Okay, it's just a matter of time. Right now, the US dollar is weak, which has allow this to go up I also do believe that all of this is pre-planned okay this is all planned way in advance okay insider trading these banks the you know the federal government all these people know what's going on well in advance okay it's like some of these senators and Republicans Democrats they want to act like they're shocked but they already know what's going on okay but they want to leave you like in shock and awe of what's going on in the economy but anyhow what I, we can see patterns right we see you had this high point here and it dropped back down it came back up to the same high point same resistance if i mark this right here you can see it's like almost touching that right now and it probably will okay it's definitely getting ready to go back down so what should we do if you look at the four hour chart you see that same resistance hit many times um so this week again we can both buy and sell okay we already see what's happened here in the past you know the past week or two all right it's been going up and down a lot of sideways movement shot up now but it's going to come back down all right it's just how it works so again right now is a very very fresh signal okay do not sell right now wait until at least the London session to see what the market is going on if you want to be even safer wait until the New York session on Monday and then place your trade okay once you place the trade close it on the next opposite color arrow and just repeat that process all right moving on to GBP I mean AUD USD so here again we saw a lot of sideways movement this past week, but then it spike up on Friday, which is to be expected. And four hour chart shows the sell. Again, this is a pretty fresh signal. So I would not place a trade right now. Daily chart shows the sell, weekly chart shows the sell. So all the bigger time frames are showing the sell, which is good. So we know long term is going to be dropping. In the short term, it's not going to be dropping so much because we just had this big spike up, <coughs> but it will come back down.
Okay, it's just a matter of time. So again, with Australian dollar, US dollar, it's okay to both buy and sell. Just wait until at least the London session or even US session before placing any trades on Monday. Okay. Now let's look at US dollar versus Swiss franc. Okay. Now the other pairs were shot up on Friday. This US dollar obviously dropped down on Friday. Okay, we had a big drop. And you know, I was a little bit broken hearted. <laughs> I was a little bit not upset but a little disappointed in the market but I had a feeling it would do that okay I don't know why but I just had a feeling in the back of my mind that it would do that but um, a lot of people are hitting stop losses right now and that's what these brokers and banks want you to do they want you to hit your stop loss okay but you know hindsight is 2020, 2020 here we could look back and say wow if I sold here and closed there I'd have a huge profit but you don't know you know you could have bought here and now you're in a big drawdown or vice versa you know or you hit a stop loss so um, either way it is continuing dropping and I think it's probably gonna drop even more if we zoom out a little bit we see we had a support here before with a blue arrow it's possible I could drop this far, much further I don't know um, if you look at the daily chart now this is the kicker right here daily chart shows to sell and before I predicted that it would drop to this level right here okay now it has dropped has broke that and dropped further so wow so how much further will it drop I do not think there's any way possible it's gonna drop that far we have a support right here okay that's a big drop right there long way to travel also we have a resistance here we have a support right here support resistance right here okay so this is kind of the most feasible position where it will drop and form a blue arrow on the daily chart that's what we're looking for okay that's what we've been looking for for the last couple weeks and for this to form a blue arrow on the daily chart okay I know the four hour shows the buy but we all know I know you know that this could repaint and it could drop further okay but we're looking for the blue arrow to form on the daily chart before we actually buy okay <clears throat> so the weekly chart shows the buy as well it's been showing that for a long time but here's the deal um what do we want to do this week okay well a smaller time frame sure to buy so i think it's going to it might drop a little bit in the open on monday but it's going to shoot back up and then probably drop even more going towards the middle of the week all right until we get that like i said that blue arrow on the daily chart okay so the price is going to be like this up and down up and down but overall heading down Okay, that's just what's going to happen. Now, I do think it will be safe to both buy and sell. Just keep in mind that the overall price this week will be most likely dropping. Okay, you should see the price end lower than where it began just because the US dollar is weak. Okay, so anyhow, um, I don't know. We will see. But you can both buy and sell on 30 minute chart. So, we just keep keep an eye on that and definitely wait until at least the New York session on Monday before placing any trades uh, moving on to US dollar versus Japanese yen okay here again we see the price mm, actually it's kind of moving slowly moving downhill but overall it was moving sideways and then big spike down on Friday because of that non-farm payroll right so like I said it really sucks but it is what it is daily chart again shows the sell so it's not like a big news okay it's not like oh wow oh my god the market crashed no it's already been dropping okay been dropping for the last several weeks okay we had a big gain here at the beginning of the year and for the first couple months and then pullback okay that's just what happens in the market so the weekly chart shows the buy and it's been showing that for a long time now 
the daily chart let me shift it over shows the sell and again we're looking for a blue arrow to form on the daily chart before we know we're going to have a solid uptrend okay and we really want to buy now what's going to happen this week before our chart shows a sell i really feel it's going to be dropping um smaller time frame show the buy so again we're going to have a lot of up and downs with a slow slow trickle down okay you're going to see a lot of like this i'm not good at making noises not good at hand signals but anyhow you get the idea right so you're going to have a range of market with a downtrend okay and again we're looking for the blue arrow to form on the daily chart okay we already have a support right here that is the most likely place you're going to see the blue arrow form okay could go lower we don't know but if it goes lower it's probably dropped to here somewhere i don't know that's a, that'd be a huge drop i don't think it's going to go that far all right so anyhow um so this week again you can both buy and sell for the u.s dollar japanese yen but at least wait until the new york session forms on monday to see what the market is doing okay don't just you know buy right now okay because it's, it's probably going to drop more and then you'll be in drawdown again um moving on to u.s dollar versus canadian dollar okay here we see like a steady downtrend okay and we see a drop right here on friday where we had the non-farm payroll but overall it's been dropping anyhow okay if we look at the four hour chart okay four hour chart shows the buy and i know this repainted already and but it hasn't repainted yet again but it could um but please do not buy right now okay look at the daily chart the daily chart shows the buy and that's a very very fresh signal okay and the weekly chart shows the buy as well and this arrow was over here before and then it shifted over here now so that kind of sucks man actually shifted to this candle now it jumped to this candle okay that's what we call repainting okay and it just happens all these indicators do is mark your strongest points of support and resistance okay and before the indicator will stop repainting we need to wait several candles okay to see what's going to happen so yes long term you want to buy but not right this very minute okay so smaller time frame show the buy pretty much every time frame shows the buy and when you get like that okay you need to look at your trends okay that's what you need that's the most important thing if you come here on the one hour chart okay I'm gonna mark this point and these points here that's marks my resistance coming down when you have a downtrend okay always look for your resistance going down and then wait for that to break and then you can buy okay <clears throat> I do feel we're gonna see mostly range of markets this week I don't think there's gonna be a big increase but um, more than likely what's gonna happen is the price will continue dropping more okay how far I don't know that is the big kicker right now if I zoom out on the daily chart wow look at that so um we have a support right here that would probably be the place where it would drop to okay it could go a little bit lower but we have a right you know we have a support right here so it's definitely you know going there if it's going anywhere if i go down to the four hour chart see we're almost there already so don't expect like a huge drop this week okay but you see right here follow this trend line all the way down that is where we are projecting this to go let's go to the four hour like that okay so this is a wedge kind of like a triangle part of a triangle right this is a wedge pattern <clears throat> what we're looking for 
is for this to break out and what will probably happen is you see a lot of up and down movement and probably over the next couple weeks I think this will drop more okay I don't know it's showing the sell right now but until this breaks okay if you go on the one hour chart I would wait at least three or four candles to break above before I buy okay and actually I would just leave this alone right now okay you definitely want to buy but do not buy until this breaks okay and then once you get the next red arrow then you can sell again so you know just be patient with this one okay this one's definitely going to take your patience okay just kind of stay away from it right now might be even Tuesday or Wednesday before you can even place a trade with this okay I would not even play around this right this very minute okay but do keep an eye on it and if you see it break then you can buy okay so I hope that helps um, if you have any questions or comments at all about these predictions or if you want me to analyze another currency pair okay please feel free to hit me up on Facebook there's a link below in the description of this video for my personal Facebook please contact me there first all right I'd love to help you uh, also there is a link from my private Facebook group and you can request to join my Facebook group and post any questions or comments in my Facebook group okay so with that, with that said I hope you have a wonderful week ahead just let me know how I can help you. Thank you so much.